You know, I'm not really a big swearer. I, I try not to swear because I have a five-year-old. But every now and then, you know, like the odd shit or something like that will come out. And if Grace happens to be there when this happens, I put a little bit of money in her money piggy. If Grace had have been sat with me for the next, the, for the last hour, she'd have cleaned up. <sighs> oh. So full disclosure before this starts, this isn't so much of a review of a planet as it is, it's basically a series of outtakes I've cobbled together. Uh, um, of the, so it doesn't feature the transformation, but it has my thoughts about the planet mode. Anyway, let's get back to me last night. One thing I forgot to point out whilst he was in that robot mode is the beautiful detail on the inside of his knees. I really appreciate stuff like that because it just looks so much better than a drop off. <sighs> Getting there, sort of. I'm this far. Uh, I'm getting there. It's got a wonderful habit of you'll do up one side and then you'll go to do the other side and it will undo bits on the side you've been working on. It's about the size of a football. I can see where it's going. But yeah, it's it's been an experience. I'm bleeding. It's uh, there's Somewhere around here there's a hole in my bed cover where it's plucked a hole. And I know it's Unicron, the Chaos Bringer, but he, he actively attacks you as you are transforming him. You see, he's covered in little things like that and there's some yellow ones over here uh, and they all just like, stab you as you're trying to transform him there's no helpful way to hold him uh, these, they, the little spikes just about all fall enough i have to put them all back on again i don't think there's one of the um the, the ones on the arms are okay it's just the ones on the, the round bits all come off I'll give it another 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, I've given up for the evening. <laughs> um, the problem with it isn't the figure, it's me. It's, 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 got, it's not forgiving at all. You've got to be so precise as you're transforming it. Uh, one mistake throws it out. For example, ooh, you'll see what looks like a deflated football. Um, so here's its leg. Ooh. So there are about 20 bits in play at this point. So you've got these two bits here, that bit, that bit, these two bits here, these two bits here, this big bit up here. Um, these little bits down here, these jangly things on the legs, and the feet. And every single one of these things has to be in exactly the right position. So you can see these little things here are not quite in exactly the right position. So therefore, it won't work. <laughs> and now, uh, I can't figure out what you're supposed to do with these bits. See, the instructions say, uh, just bring them to the side and swoosh them down. And then it doesn't really say what to do with them after that. And they don't half get in the way. So I'm going to try them this way round. See, is that them? No possibility. It's saying to go both ways. <sighs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> but it's, it is a really cool figure. Apart from all the bits that have fallen off. Oh, you need... Um, there's some bits under here that are so tight. When you're... These bits here... You have to sort of pluck out from his gooch. And they were stuck, so I had to get the pliers to get them out. I think, because I've been rushing it, I made an absolute balls up of it, the whole thing. 
and that's fine. I forgive myself. I will come back to it and we'll get another video when um, I've transformed it. Cause I'll finish it off and it'll be fine. You just, you'll need to go through it. Fine. So I've been using a video. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you whose video I've been using. Uh, Cause I usually like this person and it's good fun. But there's lots of quick cuts in the video and I think it misses out quite a few things. And these instructions are not the most helpful. So that was me last night. Has it been going any better for me today? I'd like to thank my neighbor for soaring. So here we have a planet. Um, it's very planty. It's, it's, it's really cool, but it's covered in things like these bits here, which quite frankly, stab the crap out of you. You can plug his head in there and he's got a button on the top of his head. So this bit becomes lights up. Uh, one thing of interest that you do want to see is this. So, and there's no instructions, but I figured out if you um, separate them, straighten them out, apart from the bits with the pointy bits on. So just put the pointy bits in so they're next to the line. And then you can get two other bits. The fold, the fold at the end. So you fold them down and then you can snap them together and you have his, you know, his braces, or whatever it is. Again, this is an absolute horror to do. It's honestly, it's like handling a thorn bush because of things like that, that and that. Um, I'm gonna be putting him back to robot mode now. Um, the original plan was I was thinking about having him in planet mode up there. Just gonna do a little bit of rearranging and um, yeah, planet mode him. But I think he's gonna go into robot mode and stand up there. I think that'll just look a bit cooler. So yeah, I love this figure. But getting him into planet mode was not a joyous experience. So I'm bleeding, I've been stabbed. Um, there's a little yellow bit there. You see there's the, the bit that actually came off. That little bit of yellow, was in my leg for a small amount of time because it was it was sort of on my shoulder. There's no, don't you do it, don't you do it. Again, I'm, I'm sat on my bed because I'm thoroughly unorganized. But it is, it's a nice, sturdy lump of a planet. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's cool stuff. Quick addition, I found some LR44s. I say found, I stole them off my dad. And so now, Look at that. Very good. Yeah, big fan of that. Final thoughts on Unicron. Um, it's fantastic. Really, really good. Um, I absolutely adore the robot mode. It is nigh on perfect. The transformation is, I'm sure when, if you've done it a few times and you get used to it and things like that, it would be all right. I did not have much luck with the transformation because I'm not someone that's filled with an abundance of patience or, you know, skill. It's, it's fiddly and you know, I'm, I'm like, I've got five thumbs basically. So things like that are always a bit of a pain in the butt for me. Uh, in Planet, he, well, he looks really cool. Really cool. Uh, I know some pe he's not big enough for some people, but like I've said before, you will never get a scaled Unicron. It's just not feasible. Even if you did like a cosplay outfit, you still wouldn't be technically big enough for legend scale, even the small legend scale. It'd have to be 15, 20 feet tall to account for that. If you'd want a... Um, a masterpiece scale Unicron, it probably needs to be a hundred foot tall. You just, just give it thought. It, you know it works. You know that's what it is. Um, for its um, value for money, it's about the same as you know, like a set of combiners, like a set of um, Zeta combiners. Uh, it's up to you. And I personally, I'm really happy with it. I thoroughly recommend it. There's the doorbell.
honestly, it's just stopped soaring over there. Now we've got a doorbell over there. Um, really, really happy with the purchase. Like I said, though, it has, it's sharp. Be warned, it's sharp. It's very sharp. It is ridiculously sharp in so many places. It's just a constant barrage of stabs. It's like playing with a, um, a rose bush. You know, it's beautiful, but prickly. And that about wraps up this video. Thank you very much. Fingers on plastic. So here we have him in rough boot, you dare roll off again. <laughs>